Ladies and gentlemen, it's a real joy and a pleasure to be here. I look forward, <clears throat> having been told about this conference, to be amongst those who will come and, and say a few words, but more particularly for me to also spend time to see <clears throat> the incubation stores outside. And get your I must say that I've been immensely impressed with what I have seen. And in many ways, <clears throat> it gives credence to the strategy that the ministry has started to pursue. It is through the incubation process, I believe, that we will be able to achieve great, great achievements and outcomes. And I'd like to applaud the minister, his officials, and uh, all the others, including the Portfolio Committee, for having come up with this thrust of a strategy that is going to do a great deal for the development of uh, small and medium enterprises in our country. So, Minister, I applaud you. I think you have a really great start in your portfolio. So, thank you very much for this. As I see it, this, this conference is really about sharing best practice to learn, to generate ideas, and also to strengthen cooperation and to find common strategies and solutions to build our economy, but also to have this wonderful opportunity to build our businesses. This conference demonstrates that our government is really serious about the development of small business. Hitherto, the government, since it came into office, has been trying a number of initiatives. Those initiatives have ranged from policy formulation, policy development, and then came the National Development Plan, and the National Development Plan defined, defined the strategic outlook that we must have as a country with regards to small business development. And the President then set up the ministry. And this was really born out of the, the urging, the advice, the suggestions, the campaigning also, if you like, from black business. Black business people through their formation, Black Business Council, came to the fore in, in, in quite a strategic way and they said to government, in order for us to gain traction, to redress the imbalances of the past as black people in this economy, where we were deprived of playing a meaningful role in terms of not being allowed to trade wherever we wanted to, in terms of not even being allowed to own property or businesses, we now believe that if you are going to redress that imbalance and address the past, we as black business people organized as the Black Business Council. We suggest, Mr. President, they said, we propose, Mr. President, they said, that you should set up a ministry for small business development. So the setting up of this ministry was in large measure large measure the success of the campaigning, the suggestion, the proposals from the Black Business Council. And we applaud them for having done precisely that. For us in government, and to top it up, they came up with a suggestion, but to top it up, the President appointed Ms. Lindy Wazulu. Uh, a really go-getter, energetic, young, beautiful, go, going forward minister. There you go. Now, for, small, for us small business, for us as government, small business is not a small matter. It's a big matter. In fact, it should have been called small business and in parentheses it should have been big matter development. It is the backbone of our radical 
Economic Development Program. It is through small business that we really, truly, and honestly want to radically change the trajectory of our economy. We place the hopes of our nation on a thriving, inclusive economy on the success of small business. Now, if you are in the small business sector and ever thought that what you are doing in your little corner, in your garage, does not matter, I am here to tell you that it does matter to this economy. It is big. Our NDP, the National Development Plan, identifies support for small business development as critical in as far as achieving faster, more inclusive growth to create the millions of jobs that our country needs. In line with the NDP, South Africa is lowering the costs of doing business. And when some people heard that we've now embarked on this journey of lowering the costs of doing business, they thought, oh, they're just talking once again. And we are deadly serious. We know that it is expensive to do business in our economy, and we want to lower those costs. I also have another dream to lower the costs of living. The costs of living in our country are extremely high, and we've got to lower them so that poor people can begin to lead a decent and better life. 